going to talk about three functions, upper, lower, and proper. And these are case functions in Excel. Now, unlike Word, where we have buttons to change the case directly on our formatting toolbar, we don't have that in Excel. So we tend to copy and paste over into Word, change the case, and copy and paste it back. Well, you can do these changes directly in Excel. You just have to use the functions. As an example, let's say I wanted all of these full names in uppercase. Here's how simple it would be. I would type equals upper open bracket. Then it wants to know the reference cell. So I'm going to reference in this case C2. Close the bracket, hit enter. It switches it to uppercase. It is as simple as that. Now, one thing to keep in mind is this is a function. So this is a function, which means if I copy and paste it, it's going to want to copy and paste the function. If I actually did that because I want to now copy and paste this elsewhere and use these uppercase uh, full name, you would have to make sure you copied and then pasted the values. You can look that up. Uh, that's pretty easy to find the information on that. Let's do another one. So instead of upper, let's do lower of the same cell reference. You'll notice it does all lowercase. And then we also have one that we can use called proper. And let's do that one. And proper will capitalize the first letter of each word in a cell. So you notice that Andrew Jones, in this case, switched over to nicely capitalized Andrew Jones. Now you can use these functions to wrap around other functions. For example, the email addresses that we've generated here with a concatenate function is all mucked up with the case. So I could wrap this whole thing in a lower function and that's going to fix the problem nicely. So no matter how my data is imported or how it's entered, I can always manipulate the case by using those three functions, upper, lower, and proper.